the weekend. Let's launch into a full body, full on warm up. Starting with those jumping jacks. And uh, yeah, just sort of getting a feel for workout mode. Slowly pulling the body into that physically and mentally, right? So body temperature warms up, heart rate goes up, start to breathe a little bit harder, but you're also sort of dialing your focus, pulling your thoughts away from work and the real world and into the workout. Arms all the way up. Again, take this nice and slow, slow dive into the workout today. Let's go five. Four, three, two, and one. Right into some slow butt kicks here. Again, gentle wake up call. Getting the heels up, stretching through the quads. And make sure you're just sort of doing a full body scan right now. What's feeling tight? What's feeling sore? What's feeling tired? And then what's feeling good, right? If you feel good, the rest of it gets pushed to the side. We're just going to go for it. Let's go four, three, two, and one. Right in it to high kicks. So already the body's a little bit more awake than it was a couple minutes ago. Get the high kicks going. Try to keep the legs nice and straight. And again, use the warm up to wake up the body physically and draw yourself mentally into work mode. Connect with the muscles and just get ready to rock. Let's go three, two, one more each side. And then knees to chest, gentle pull in. And then you're gonna add that hip opener. So draw into the chest, big hip opener and drop. Make sure that you're starting to pay attention to upper body form as the lower body is moving, keeping those shoulders down and back. And the lower, excuse me, the lower back nice and straight, tailbone tucked. That'll help you to keep your balance as well. Give me two more. And then go ahead and shake off that lower body stretch, nice wide stance. Arms up and out to the side. Start with those gentle pulls. Again, take it nice and slow. See if you can sort of get to the end of that pull and take it a couple of inches further. So really focusing on stretching through the torso and pulling through those fingertips. Again, tuck the tailbone so that lower back stays nice and straight with this side to side flexion. Getting the most out of it. Let's go one more each side. And then you're gonna stand up nice and tall. We're gonna go in for those toe touches. Left hand down to that right foot. And again, you're gonna take it nice and slow. Try to really pull your body through the fullest range of motion that you can manage this morning. If you're feeling a little tight, be gentle and give your body a couple of seconds to sort of loosen up those muscles and then back to the other side. Pushing the butt just back behind you. Hamstrings should start to loosen up here. Let's go one more each side. Breathing through, pay attention to your breathing as well. All right, stand up nice and tall. Keep the feet right where they are. We're going to go in for a forward fold. So raise the hands right up to the ceiling. Exhale, push your butt back behind you and reach for the floor. Sink into it. Again, pay attention to your breathing. And then you can start with that side to side bend, that right to left motion, keeping your feet flat on the ground. Toes facing forward. And just that gentle shift from side to side. So you're feeling that stretch all the way down the inner side of the legs. A little bit deeper into that side bend. 
All right, one more each side. And then you're gonna straighten both legs to the center and sink for a couple of seconds into this stretch. And then walk the heels in and toes just a couple of steps. You wanna be about shoulder width apart and roll the shoulders up to the ceiling. Couple of shoulder rolls back behind you and then we're just gonna warm up with a couple of prisoner squats. So the fingertips behind the head, nice wide open of the elbows, push the knees out over the toes and squat back. Nice, gentle, slow squats here just to warm up the glutes, activate those lower body muscles. Keep the chest and chin up, yeah, nice, excellent. Pushing your butt back behind you. Let's go three, two, excellent, one more. One, push up through the heels, flat foot, nice, all right. Loosen everything up. So you're going to want a kettlebell to start off with. You're going to want a mat to start off with as well. So we're comboing strength and cardio through this whole workout. We're going to hit every major muscle group. Um, so we're going to get the sweat going. We're going to get that slow burn going on. And that's going to be within each and every interval series. So grab your kettlebell to start off with. And again, we're gonna have four exercises, excuse me, in each circuit we're gonna go through as a giant circuit, okay? One, two, three, four, back to the top. We're gonna start with kettlebell swings. So I want you to think of this first exercise in this first round as just a little bit more of that piece of the warm up, just weighted this time, okay? So those kettlebell swings, you wanna make sure that as your butt's pushing back, your back stays nice and straight, Pull the hips forward, and we're just coming right up to shoulder height. So I'm going to run down the list of exercises. We're going to hit swings. We're going to go modified burpees. So burpee, no push-up. We're going to go goblet squats, and we're going to go deadlift. So we're going to start with cardio, finish with strength. So kettlebell in hand. Let's rock and roll into this first set. Get the heart rate up, and just get that full body wake-up call right now here. So plant the heels about shoulder width apart. Two. And one, let's go. Yep. Yeah, nice. And again, push your butt back, keep the back nice and straight. And then as your hips come forward, that kettlebell swinging forward to shoulder height. Full body warm up. Let's go four, three, two, finish up this swing and down to the mat. All right, kettlebell just to the side. We're gonna need it for exercise three and four. We're going for burpees, no push up, but I want that pop at the top. Let's go, boom, and pop. Out to the plank, pop those feet forward, and give me that jump, reach to the ceiling. So the only thing that we're taking out of that burpee is the push up. Intensity stays, form stays. Three, two, and one, whew. All right, now that the heart rate's up, grab that kettlebell again. We're gonna go in for some goblet squats. So we've already warmed these up. Plant the feet shoulder width apart, boom, and down. So you're using that same good form that you rock through those warm up prisoner squats. Glutes are awake. Yeah, nice. Nice and low, three, two, and one. Hold on to that kettlebell. We're gonna go in for a straight leg deadlift. So you want your feet about the hip width apart. Nice straight back. Keep the spine nice and long. So as you push your hips back behind you and the torso lowers towards the mat, don't let those shoulders round forward. Keep it nice and straight. Yeah, excellent. Nice form. Three. Two, squeeze the glutes, and one, nicely done. All right, back to the top. So same hold on that kettlebell, going right in for some swings. Slightly wider stance. Two, and one, let's go. Heart rate should be up. So we're going with a little bit more intensity into these swings right now. Yeah, nice. Excellent form, keep it going, come on. Big intensity here. That warm up for burpees, four, three, Two, and one, nice and done. Kettlebell just to the side, getting ready to dive into burpees again. Modified, no push-up, but big reach at the top. Let's go two, and one, let's go. 
This is our chance to really get that heart rate rocking, breathing a little bit harder, that full body wake up call. We'll get the burpees out of the way in circuit one. Three, two, one. Pop it forward. All right. Burpees done for the workout. Grab that weight. We're going in for goblet squats. Two and one. Let's go. You want to keep your feet flat on the floor. So as you push up out of the squat, nice, even push. Back stays straight. That includes the tailbone, right? Don't let that arch come in. Three, two, and one. Beautiful job. All right, here we go. One last set of deadlifts. Feet are hip width apart. Nice long spine. Three, two, let's go. Heart rate should be up right now. Breathing a little bit harder. Makes these deadlifts count just a little bit more. Stick with it. Coming up on a little break. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Kettle below the side. Nicely done. Woo! All right. Grab some water. Like I said, burpees are done. Out of the way right from the get-go. Grab some water. Body should be feeling totally warmed up at this point. Woo. All right, so bring a little bit harder. We're gonna use that and push right in on into circuit two. We're gonna play the same game. Two cardio into two strength. We're gonna go high knees, we're gonna go skaters, and then our strength is gonna be a row, and we're gonna do that single arm. So we'll start with the right, left hand supports on the thigh, boom, and down, okay? We're gonna start with that cardio though, so make sure you have some space, kettlebells to the side, especially when we get to those skaters. No tripping over kettlebells. High knees first, so again, we're gonna use the heart rate being up, body temp being up from that first round, we're just gonna dive right into it. In four, in three, high knees here, two, and one, let's go. Pushing off the toes, and we're really just looking to skyrocket the heart rate right now. Get that cardio punch. Yep, keep it going. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Quick chill. Skaters, big pushes left. Two right, so make sure you've cleared out all obstacles out of the way. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Big push. Yeah, nice. Keep that pace going. That looks good. That big push off the front leg. Power and then control. We're looking to get that heart rate up, so don't slow this intensity. Four, three, two, and one. Now you can slow it down. We're going to go upper body for this strength. Kettlebells in the right hand. We're gonna go in for a row. So, hip hinge, boom, and down. Keep the elbow nice and close to the body. You're gonna keep your wrist facing in at your body. So neutral grip, all the way through. Squeeze at the top, nice and slow. Three, two, and one. Woo! It's hard to slow things down after you do high knees and fingers. So, left hand, same deal. Hip pinch, nice straight back, let's hit it. Boom, and down. And again, you're looking for that long spine, right? Tailbone all the way up to the base of your skull, all the way up the neck. Squeeze in at the top. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, kettlebell out of the way. We've got high. Knees, and we've got skaters in three, in two, and one. Let's go. Push that ca that cardio button again. Get that heart rate dialing up. Pushing through the toes. Keep that intensity. These are 20 seconds rounds. That's all the time that you get to get that heart rate rocking. Two, and one. 10 second break, nice job. All right, same intensity. We're going in for those skaters. Big power moves here. Three, 
two, and one. Let's do it. And again, the goal here is to go to that 85 to 95% intensity, right? That's how Tabata really kicks the body into go mode. Let's go. Four, three, two, and one. Slow it down. Nice job. All right, here we go. Back into that upper body strength. Right hand, tense grip on that handle. Get the tension moving through the forearm right from the get-go. Use this time. Dial in the focus to the upper body and dial in your focus to breathing here. Pulling in some big deep breaths. Stay nice and stable throughout. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Set it up nice and tall. Switch grips. Over to that left side. Again, big grip on the handle so the tension starts in the forearm. Two and one. Let's go. Round two here, coming to a close. Stick with it. Keep that body in work mode. We've got five seconds. Four. Stay controlled. Three, two, one. Set up nice and tall, elbow to the side. And take a couple deep breaths and grab some water. Nice and done. Whew. Shaking things out, keeping the body moving. Hopefully that energy is kind of rising here. As the muscles wake up and get that burnout going. All right, we're getting there. Two down, three to go. This round's gonna bring us through our halfway point. We're gonna use the kettlebell for every exercise this time through. We're gonna go single-sided for both exercises. Push press, boom, and up. Remember, you wanna keep your elbow to the front so you're protecting that entire movement pattern, okay? Right, then we'll go left. Then we're gonna go lower body. You're gonna have that kettlebell in your right hand. And we're gonna do split stance, lunge, down, and up. So we're going to offset there. That lunge is going to have to keep everything nice and balanced. All right. So if you have a heavier kettlebell, if you have a choice, grab the heavier for this one because we're going power up top and then strength lower body. Grab your kettlebell. We're going to start on the right side here. And again, nice strong wrist, but you want that elbow to the front to protect that joint. Two and one. Let's go. Big push up to the top. Control on the way back down. Yep, awesome form, great. And you wanna punch that fist right up through the ceiling, right? So your wrist stays nice and straight. We're going five, four, three, two, and one, nice job, bring it in. Switching over to that other side. Same intensity, same control. We're going in two, we're going in one, here we go, punch up, and right back in, yes. And there's that rotation of the wrist. So as you punch up towards the ceiling, the wrist rotates so it's facing forward, which lets the shoulder rotate. Yeah, nice. Four, three, two, last push. And bring it in, nice. All right, that weight goes over to the right side. You're gonna have your right foot in front, left foot behind, two and one, lunge down and push. So this is gonna slow things down, but as soon as you get up to the top and get your balance again, boom, down into that lunge. And remember, up and down, not forward and back. Yeah, nice, nice pushes. Three, two, and one, beautiful. Over to the left side. Some nice wide stance, so you're feeling super comfortable covering a lot of ground. Two, and one, let's go. Make sure both toes Excuse me, both feet are facing forward. Sometimes that back ankle can kind of rotate around, try to keep everything straight line, dialed into the front. Five seconds to go. All the way through it, we'll take it back to upper body. Two and one. Woo. All right, that right there, that's our halfway point. So back over to the right side, push presses. Right side in two and one, let's go. If you're feeling comfortable with the exercise, you can try to push that intensity a little bit. 
get, you know, an extra half rep into the mix. Come on, back stays nice and straight. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Bring it in over to the left side. Nice. Remember, you want to keep that lower back nice and straight as that weight pushes up above your head. Three, two, let's go. Hit it. Yes. Nice. That power push right up through the ceiling. Think of this as our cardio for this round. We've got five seconds. All the way through it. Come on. Three, two, and one. Nice pushes. Nice. All right, here we go. Finish up with lower body. Not quite done with this circuit yet. Right foot in front. Weights in the right hand. Two, and one. We're going straight down and straight back up. Knee can go forward a little bit, but you don't want it traveling too far over your toes. You're really looking for 90 degree angles here. Boom, and up. That makes the right muscles kick in the gear at the right time. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right, I'm sweating. I don't know about you guys. Switch sides. We're going to break after this one. Three, two, let's go. Let's get started. Boom, and up. 20 seconds. And then we get our break. We're already through the halfway point of this workout. Boom. And up. Stay smooth. Stick with it. Stay strong. Yeah. Nice. Nice balance here. Looks good. Three, two, one. Whew. All right. How about to you at this side? That is round three in the books. Grab some water. Shake things off. If you feel like any particular muscle groups need to stretch, now's a good time. All right. Whew. I don't know about you guys. My heart rate's up. Definitely sweating. So, we're three down. We've got two to go. We're going to go back to that cardio and then strength training focus. So we've got cardio toe taps. Picture that soccer ball, boom, right? Just pure cardio. Get the heart rate up. We're going from there into jumping jacks. From there, we're going curl to a press. So for this curl, I like to have my hands sort of on the outside of the handle. Curl, press, and then last exercise, extension. So again, if you have two kettlebells that you want to use, this I'd say you can go for the lighter weight. Otherwise, we're just going for it. So we're going toe taps and we're going jumping jacks. Let's see if we can get those heart rates right back up to burpee mode. Picture that soccer ball right in front of your feet. We are just going for broke here. We're going for speed. Three, two, and one. Let's go. And you're getting those toes up on top of that soccer ball, right? Tap, tap, right back and forth. And you want to draw the toes into the center. You start to feel those glutes a little bit, right? Instead of just kicking right forward. Yeah, there we go. Four, three, two, and one. Quick little break. We're getting into jumping jacks. So these are faster jumping jacks than our warm-up jumping jacks, all right? Here we go. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Both of these exercises... They're working some muscles, but we're really just using them to get that cardio kick. Staying light on the toes and keeping everything moving here. All the way through it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Chill it out. Grab your weight. We're going curl to press. So again, that outside of the handle grip. Two, and one. You're going to curl it up to chest. Push right up over the head, straighten the arms, and bring it in. We're going to hold off on that tricep extension until the next exercise. Boom, and bring it in. Back stays straight as that weight pushes up above the head. Three, two, one. Woo! Okay, now we're going to go for overhead extension. So this is all triceps, all 20 seconds. Straighten the arms up above. Here we go. Bend and push right up to the ceiling. And you want that last little push of the wrist, right? To straighten that kettlebell up above your head and finish that extension. Stick with it, nice straight backs, nice strong pushes. Three, two, and one, bring it in. All right, just to the side, back to the top, cardio toe taps, 
jumping jacks. Let's get the heart rate up there. Two and one. Here we go. This is our last round on our feet. So get this cardio in, this lower body cardio kicking. Push all the way through. Yeah, nice, nice speed. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and calm it down. Ten seconds. Jumping jacks. Here we go. Same intensity. That's speed for here. Three, two, and one. Let's go. And again, we're going speedier than that warm up round. Body's fully warmed up here. We want to pump it up. Ten seconds. Let's go. Push it. All the way through. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now you can calm it down. Now you can grab that weight. And we're going in for that arm workout. So curl to press. In three, in two, in one. Let's go. Curl, squeeze at the top, push up through the ceiling. Bring it in. Nice wide stance. Helps you feel stable. Pushing that weight up overhead. Yeah, nice, come on. We're getting there. Four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, 20 seconds left in this round, all triceps. So, straighten the arms up overhead. Lock the elbows in. Let's go bend, and then push right up through the ceiling. And again, that last little flick of the wrist at the top. Don't forget about it. Stay in control here. We're hitting those triceps. Let's go four, three, two, and one. Bring that kettlebell in and off to the side. You're not gonna need that kettlebell again. Woohoo! So grab some water. Tell you what, this one wakes your body up. All right, we're four in. We've got one to go. We're heading down to the mat. No weights needed. So here you go. Here's what we're looking at. We're going to start off with our cardio kick, right? We're going to start off with mountain climbers. So we're going for intensity here. Last round. Everything that you got cardio-wise goes into those mountain climbers. From there, we're going to go into a bear crawl, knee tap. So you're going to lift the knees up and then tap down and up down and up. And what I want you to think about while doing that is using your core, okay? So not just tapping the knees and right back up. Exercise three and four. We're gonna go into a side crunch. So from here, boom, and down. Boom, and down. Hitting both sides of weeks. Just touching on them today. Not a huge ab workout, but the total of all the moves, mountain climbers, bear crawls, all hit core. So, starting down on the mat. In that high plank position, we're going for high speed mountain climbers here. Take a deep breath in. We have about 10 seconds. You want to line up shoulders over the wrist. Let's go. Taking that same intensity that you have for high knees, for burpees, for cardio toe taps. We really got our cardio in this, this workout. And you're going for it. Same intensity with the mountain climbers. Keeping the butt low, keeping the back nice and straight. These look good. Good intensity. Three, two, and one. All right, so bear curl knee taps. This is all about the core. We just woke the core up with mountain climbers. Let's use that. Three, two, and one. So lift the knees just up off the mat. You're going to tap them down and up. It's super subtle. And you want that because you want to be able to really squeeze those abs in and focus on the core piece of the puzzle. Five, four, three, two, and one. Boom, knees hit down. Let's go over in for those side crunches. So you're gonna be in a half plank almost here, elbows on the mat, reach the, back, the arm away from the knee, crunch it in, and reach. So we wanna be in this half plank so that we're getting the obliques on the other side as well. Hitting those glutes, hitting the abs, breathe, draw it in. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Flip it around. Let's even everything up. Yes, there's light at the end of the tunnel right now. Knee down, hips up, reach. 
Here we go. Boom. Breathe as you reach. Exhale as you crunch. 10 seconds to go. Come on, stick with it. Keep this pace going. Body's getting tired, but we're pushing it right to the end. Three, two, and one. Woo! Down to the mat. Flip it around right back to the top for some mountain climbers. This is it. This is our last big cardio push. So see if you can really take it right to the final buzzer. Here we go. Driving those knees. Keeping those shoulders down. You want to play hot potato with the toes. Those toes are spending just seconds on the ground. Drive the knees forward and go for broke here. Come on. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Nicely done. All right, heart rate's up. Let's go into that hold and see if we can really just dial in our focus on the core. Two and one. Knee up just up off the mat. Pull those abs in towards your center and then tap those knees down the ground. Boom. And right back up. It's just a couple of inches. Make sure you're breathing throughout. We're so close. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Down to the mat. Let's hit those obliques and call it a Tabata day. Here we go. Up, hips up, long reach, two, and one. Crunch it in and reach. As you reach the foot away from the body, the hand reaches. You want to get them as far from each other as you can. Keep the hips and shoulders facing forward as you crunch it right back into the center. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Hips down. Whew. Spin it around. One more side to go. That means 20 seconds of work, and we're done with Tabata. Start with that reach. Hips forward. Let's go. The reason you want to keep the hips and shoulders forward is because you want to draw the rib cage down to the side of the hips. That's how you're going to hit those obliques. Boom. And reach. We're going five, four, three, two, and one. Hips touch down. Flip it over to your knees and sit it back in child's pose. Taking some deep breaths in here. The first thing that you're going to focus on, I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. The first thing that you're going to focus on right now is taking some deep breaths in, right? We did a lot of cardio. You want to get that oxygen pumping to your muscles. Start recovery immediately. So slowing things down here with conscious breathing. When you're ready, you're going to pull through the hands, draw your hips all the way forward onto the mat into cobra or half cobra. Close your eyes if you need to, to really keep your focus on this moment right now. Pulling your shoulders down and back. And letting your body just sink into these stretches. Muscles are warm. Now's the time to really play with that range of motion and flexibility. All right, draw your hips back over your knees. Adjust so that you're in a comfortable tabletop position. We're going to move through cat-cow. So taking that deep breath in and tucking your chin as you round your back up to the ceiling. As you exhale, pulling your belly button down towards the mat into that deep stretch, that deep arch. And just moving between these two poses, really nice and slowly, really connected to your breathing. Creating some space and length in the muscles. Let's go one more time through each pose. And then back to neutral. Step it out just into a quick plank. And you're going to lift your hips up towards the ceiling and back towards your feet into down dog. If you can from here, if you're recognizing any tension in your neck, if you're holding your chin up, go ahead and just let the natural weight of your head gently 
Release the tension. Pull your head down towards the mat. Slowly walk your toes forward towards your hands into forward fold. And here's a good time to do another quick body scan. Starting with your feet. Working your way up your calves and your hamstrings. Releasing tension as you go across the glutes to the lower back. Up the spine to the lats and shoulders. To the neck, your jaw, and down the arms. Tension, let go through the fingertips. And then you can roll your shoulders up towards the ceiling. Big shoulder rolls back behind you. Taking another deep breath in and slow exhale. And then go ahead and swing things out. Release any tension that's left over and kicked some Tabata butt. Whew. I'm sweaty. 